So if you're anything like me, your social media has been flooded with this new widespread phenomenon of people doing ice plunges. People are intentionally dunking themselves into freezing cold waters for 60 seconds to five minutes, even up to 10 minutes sometimes. And um, it's all over the internet. So today we'll be discussing the seven phases of ice plunging. The first step is curiosity. You see video after video of people getting into freezing cold water and you're wondering to yourself, how can these people do that? And more importantly, why are they doing it? Whether it's Dr. Andrew Huberman or the countless of other videos of people preaching about all the benefits of ice plunging, that's when you reach step two, thinking maybe these people are onto something and maybe I should give it a shot. Now you've decided to give it a shot and see what deliberate cold exposure has to offer. So you go out, you buy a bag of ice for your bathtub, or if you're like me, you go straight for the, uh, the metal trough and you get all set up and decide it's go time. That's when you hit step three, the mental battle. Everyone experiences it, whether it's your first plunge, your 10th plunge, or even your 100th plunge. Your mind will always try to talk you out of getting in the water. Winning this battle against your mind is not only a crucial step in the ice plunging process, but it's an extremely valuable skill that can be applied to almost any scenario in your life. So here you are, you beat that voice in your head and now we move on to step four, get in. There's no sugarcoating this step, commit to it and get in the water. So a few things will happen when you decide to get in. Let's call step five instant shock. You probably lose your breath, you'll start gasping for air, your body is thinking it's in an immense amount of danger, and your adrenaline will start to kick in. Your blood will rush to your internal organs, trying to warm them up and keep them alive. The main goal in this step is to find a way to relax your body. Control your breathing and your body will follow. After a couple seconds, you will realize that you're not in any real danger and that you willingly decided to get into this water and all of a sudden you'll find that you can catch your breath again and everything will become very peaceful. After you control your breath and you spend anywhere from 60 seconds to five minutes in this water, we move on to my personal favorite step, step six, which is time's up. You've done it. You completed the task that you set out to do. You stayed in the freezing cold water and now it's time to get out. A few things will happen when you get out of the water. All the blood from your internal organs will rush back to your skin, your body will turn red, and you get this immense warming sensation. You don't even have to dry off yet. At this point, your body will be warming itself up, and it's one of the craziest feelings that I could ever describe. And finally, on to step seven, which is to reap the benefits. You could find countless lists of benefits, anywhere from reducing inflammation, increasing blood flow, all kinds of different benefits online from various people. But from my personal experience, there are two extremely important benefits that I have discovered. Number one is there's rumors of a 250% dopamine increase. I can 100% say that this happens to me every time I get out of the water. My mood is completely elevated. I'm always on cloud nine. It just, it's a great feeling. I also find myself dealing with stress much better in my everyday life, whether it's at work or just in, in really any scenario. Um, things that used to stress me out, it's almost like a switch has flipped in my head to where you know, I can tell myself, hey, you sit in freezing cold water willingly every day. You can handle this too. And surprisingly enough, it always turns out okay. And there you have it. I just walked you through the seven steps of ice plunging from start to finish. And now it's time for you to decide. Is ice plunging for you? You'll never know till you try. If anyone has any questions about ice plunging, drop them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. And, um, I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.